first of all we will discuss about the clonal selection this is a process of exploitation of genetic variability present in clonal crops environment and genotype are two factors which affect the phenotype of plants plants show two types of characters high heritability characters and low heritability characters clonal selection is effective for high heritability characters for example length of plant duration of flowering disease resistance etc while clonal selection is ineffective for low heritability characters for example yield in self pollinated crops the clonal selection is just similar to pure line selection suppose we have six plants in a variable plant population plant number 1 3 4 and 6 are selected on the basis of their superiority now propagules are taken from selected plants and individual plant progenies are developed now superior clone plants are selected from these individual plant progenies test release multiplication and distribution are the further steps we can elaborate the process of clonal selection by generalized outline in the first year 50 to 500 superior plants are selected from a variable population now propagules are collected from these selected plants separately in the second year individual plant progenies are developed now select the superior clone plants in the third year initial yield trials are performed disease resistance and quality tests are performed from fourth to sixth years coordinated yield trials are performed clones superior than check variety are released as a new variety in the seventh year seeds of released variety are multiplied now these seeds are distributed in farmers in this method inbreeding do not occurs hence genotype of clones remain unchanged purity of clones can be maintained by using this method this method is used for exploitation of natural variability present in crops now we will discuss about the hybridization due to clonal selection natural variability of crops get exploited hence further selection and improvement is not possible in these crops hybridization is used to develop variability again in these crops so that further selection and improvement can make possible those clonal crops in which sexual reproduction is also found variability can be produced easily by hybridization there are three main steps in the process of hybridization selection of parents hybrid seed production and selection of superior clones from hybrid generation the first step is selection of parents parents are selected on the basis of their gca and sca only those parents are selected which show high gca or high sca characters which are to be improved must be present in the parents parents are self crossed for 1 to 3 generations it has two effects on parents in breeding depression and reduction in frequency of harmful recessive genes now from these inbred progenies 
vigorous and superior plants are selected and are used as parents. Second step is hybrid seed production. Two types of hybridizations can be done in parents single cross hybridization and poly cross hybridization. Self incompatibility is found normally in clonal crops, hence, hybridization is easy in these crops. The production of hybrid seeds and plants is a problem in those crops in which either the flowers and seeds are formed rarely or seeds do not germinate as in Arbi. Third step is selection of superior clones from hybrid generation. F1 generation is produced by growing hybrid seeds. This generation is called hybrid generation. Now superior F1 plants are selected. Now propagules from selected plants are collected separately. Now these propagules are used to grow individual plant progenies. Now superior clone plants are selected. Test, release, multiplication and distribution are the further steps. We can elaborate this method by generalized outline. In the first year, selected clone plants are hybridized. As a result, hybrid seeds are produced. In the second year, F1 population is raised by growing hybrid seeds. 500 to 2000 superior plants are selected. Propagules are collected separately from these selected plants. In the third year, individual plant progenies are developed. 50 to 200 superior clone plants are selected. In the fourth year, initial yield trials are performed. Disease resistance and quality tests are performed. Superior clone plants are selected. From 5th to 7th year, coordinated yield trials are performed. Clone plants superior than check variety are released as a new variety. In the 8th year, seeds of released variety are multiplied. Now these seeds are distributed in farmers.